All right, so today we're gonna to be reviewing the new mouse by Rocat, the Cone Pro and the Cone Pro Air. Some of you guys know I already did a first look at this video, not really a review, again, just kind of letting you guys know what the mouse is, compared up to some other Rocat mice. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Some people said it was a little bit too, uh, maybe too extreme, a little bit too creative. Like, I mean, like, come on, can we be content creators around, around, around here? We're not. But today, I'm gonna to give you my honest opinion and straight up thoughts and comparisons to the Rocat Cone Pro. And just a spoiler here, some of you might see it on my website, stingingcozy.com. Yes, this mouse is my new main. So as far as in your box of both mice right here, of course, you're gonna get your mouse with the wireless one. You're gonna get a USB cable, braided cable, pretty much same quality as the wired one here. Pretty nice, we'll get into that later. You also get your dongle, which can be stored right on the bottom right here. Now with the wired one, you actually get a pair of extra feet. You don't get extra feet with the wireless one. That's Kind of weird right there. Why didn't the wireless one come with it as well? Also, if you're curious, on the wireless one, you do you get your charging cable here, which yes, you can use it while it's charging here. USB-C, by the way, right at the front. But you don't get one of those dongle extenders, you know, where you kind of plug uh, this into your PC out here and then you can plug a dongle up on your desk. You don't get that. But me, honestly, using any of my mice, I've never noticed any issues if I plug my dongle into my PC stays underneath my desk on the ground. And I, I never have any issues anyways, but if you're curious, you don't get one of those extenders where you can place it right on your desk. All right, so I'm not just gonna sit here and read off the back of the box, the specs to you guys. I'm gonna throw them up on screen here real quick in case you're interested about that. But what I really wanna focus on is the weight, the dimensions of this guy, and actually just using this mouse right here. So again, there's the tech specs for you. Let's talk about actually using this mouse and getting it in the hands. Wow, this thing is a stinking glove. I actually tweeted about it when I first got this mouse a few weeks ago. I said, man, I, I really think Rocat can read my mind with mice whenever they make them because this thing fits me absolutely perfect. I stinking love it, hands down. Now, you might be looking at it and be thinking, oh man, that shape's kind of drastic right there. You know, it's swooping on the sides and everything over here and then over there, just it, it looks aggressive, you know what I mean? But it's really not that bad, right? Your thumb kind of goes right into here and then on the back, your fingers go right over there. So you can fingertip this guy, relax it, you know, get a claw or even pull it into a palm. Right, as you see, it sits right into the back of the palm right there. And then my pinky just hits on this ledge poking out right there. So it's not sliding around or moving on me. It's locking right into place. Cause again, my pinky's sitting here right on that curve. So it holds it into place whenever moving around, if that makes sense. Again, it fits stinking absolutely perfect. So talking about some other mice I want to compare it to. Number one, and again, I covered this in the other video, but the uh, Cone Pure Ultra right here. You guys might be thinking, okay, maybe it's really like that. And let me just tell you, not at all. It is not like that. Like sure, you got that groove over on the side and then this side as well, but number one, the Cone Pure Ultra is much smaller, much smaller. As you can see, just sitting right here, right? So if I try to get it into a palm, like I can, but my hand's kind of all over the place. You can see my pinkies all the way up halfway between that little curve right there. Again, it's a much smaller mouse. By the way, I feel like I gotta reach for the side buttons right here on the Ultra. Again, just looking at the comparison of this guy, take a look at that. There's that. So you can probably clearly see, again, it is much smaller right there. So I don't even think that's a, a really good comparison right there. One other one I just wanna show you here um, is another one of my absolutely favorite mice is the Rocat Burst Pro. I absolutely love this mouse. Rocat, please, please make us a wireless version of this. I'm begging you, please. Mm. But anyways, talking about the uh, Cone Pro right here. If you're thinking about it, kind of like you like the uh, Burst Pro, not really similar, not really similar. Maybe a little bit, okay? I'm putting it in my hand right here. The, the Cone Pro is clearly bigger, so don't think that, like it's clearly bigger. But what, what's catching me right now going hand to hand, even other than my test, is you do feel it kind of wrapping your entire finger up here, right from the top to the side. Cone Pro, again, from the front all the way to the back of your finger, or the uh, Burst Pro, and then same over here. So you get that same vibe, but yes, the uh, Cone Pro is bigger if you use the Burst Pro here. But again, they do, they do both, again, go from finger to finger right here. That's what I want you to kind of realize. But again, Cone Pro is bigger. So one that I thought was more similar to it, as far as the vibe in the hand that I would get, would be 
what is this one called? The cane, the cane, right? That's what it feels like more likely. The cane is bigger and it fills out the hand a little bit more as far as width right there. As you can see in here, it's pretty much filling out my hand, you know? What an awesome mouse, I stink and love this thing. Now with the Cone Pro, I still get that kind of vibe, but again, it kind of locks my hand in a little bit more, a little more ergonomic right there. Again, when you talk about this being straight on the sides, you can see Cone Pro, bam, and it is just locked in right there, as you can see. It's just, it, it's a stinking glove. That's the, for me, shapes can be different for everybody, right? But for me, it's an absolute glove. Now, if any of you have watched my recent review of the Rival 5, the SteelSeries Rival 5, I actually pulled out the Cone Pro and said, it was shocking how similar it felt to that. Like to a T in the hand. Now, yeah, you don't have the drastic grooves or anything. You do have the one on the thumb on the rifle fire right here where it swoops in, but not on the opposite side. But just as far as just base in the hand, like it's a bigger mouse, right? And you feel it from the front to the mid of your knuckle right there. And again, it's also hitting into your palm. That is the exact same vibe I get with the Cone Pro. Now the Cone Pro, as you see, it swoops over here, just sitting in my hand. You can see it sit, hitting the side of my uh, palm over here. So clear as day, it's a big guy, right? Now when I get the Rival 5 in my hand, it does hit the side, but not as much. So this is a little more, I, I guess, streamlined right here. Again, with those drastic curves on the Cone Pro, but no joke, hand to hand, when I was doing the test of both of these mice even, again, the Cone Pro has been on my desk being my main, and I absolutely loved the Rival 5. I was like, man, if I was blindfolded, it, it, the only thing that gives the Cone Pro away, honestly, is this curve on the thumb, comparing the two right here. It's crazy, like, again, they feel the exact same. They feel awesome. So hopefully this comparison really helped you out here. Again, that's one thing I've been trying to do with my reviews, because again, we know a mouse with a new shape or, or a shape like this that's pretty aggressive. It's almost like you want to know what it peats up to or, or what it feels like in the hand, rather than just how I play with it. Because you may play a different game, different style than me completely, and your mouse is gonna vary that way, you know? But as far as feel, if, if you like the cane, I think you'll like this, you know? Um, again, the one thing I want you to watch out for is if you're thinking it's like the pure ultra here, it's, it's much different than that. I'd say cane, and then this is, maybe if you take the cane mixed with the, um, what is this, the Burst Pro, maybe you'll get that vibe right here. But also, if you like the Rival 5, maybe the 600, 650, I think you're gonna like this. Again, it's a big guy. It's a big guy in the hand, but all in all, I hope this comparison helped you kind of understand the shape of the mouse a little bit better. So now touching on my actual time using the mouse in my gameplay, you all know I play a lot of Call of Duty, but I've honestly haven't been playing as much as I usually do. I'm just kind of ready for the new Call of Duty, new Battlefield, you know, but I always test my products with Call of Duty and I played absolutely fantastic. You all know, like Call of Duty, I always talk about, you gotta control your recoil. It's not a flick and dip, single shot, bam, bam, bam. I'm not playing hardcore, I'm playing regular mode right there, you know? So you got that recoil and again, with a bigger mouse, you can pull it back, lock it in there and you're gonna control that recoil, you know? And it was very precise, really nice as far as Call of Duty. Again, I can pull it into that fingertip, flick and dip, get a little cozy right here, or even pull it into that palm, your mid-mission or whatever, mid-round mid or something, you know? It was really nice, again, for any situation. And for me, again, I can't say it enough, it, it was an absolute blast. And if you like medium to bigger size mice, you're gonna love the shape of this in your hand. But even further than that, talking about using the mouse as far as that time, the side buttons and everything, and all the clicks on it are absolutely nice. The side buttons, I love how they're big, like Rokat and their big mice, like, it's awesome, like they know what they're doing, you know? So again, you're gripping over here, bam, right up to them side buttons. Nice, big and chunky, you can clearly decipher them. One and two, nice and big, no wobble up there or anything. That titanium scroll wheel up here, it's so cool, it's just solid, it's tactile. Perfect tension in there. I absolutely love it. Let's get a listen. So with them using those optical switches, it's not like, when I was using the uh, Kane or the Burst Pro, I remember when I first started using I was like, all right, those took a little while to get used to. At first I couldn't stand them, give it a couple weeks and I got totally used to them, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, these don't bother me one bit anymore. Is it because I'm so used to the Burst Pro? I don't know, but I like them, they're very tactile. I can really decipher them when I'm pressing them as far as, again, that scroll wheel, one and two, and the side buttons. I mean, 
absolute pleasure here. Now underneath the mouse, as you can see, we have nice big PTFE feet right there. Nice and rounded, nice and chunky. I absolutely love them. By the way, on the bottom of the wireless one, in the wired one, you see you have your profile button and that's where you can switch it over there. Then you got wireless and Bluetooth on the wireless version. And then again, that door, uh, that Dorage. I keep calling it Dorage. Dongle storage, new word, Dorage. But anyways, as far as glide, very nice. It's just balanced, it's smooth. It's not scratchy whatsoever. Really nice. And also as far as the cable right here, Fantastic cable on the wired version. Real nice and thin, not too tight. I don't even think you'd need a bungee right here. It's really, really nice cable. Didn't bother me whatsoever in game right there. Now you can also dive into the Rocat Swarm software, dabble with your DPIs, all the settings on your mice, and then also the RGB, which is gonna be on buttons one or two, and you can control each of them, like a different color on one, different color on two. It's really cool just shining through uh, the buttons up there. Nothing overdone or anything. I, I honestly really like it, not being a big RGB fan myself. You know, I like it. It's pretty subtle and just looks really awesome. But again, you can adjust all that. Your profiles, your DPI, which, by the way, adjust on that profile button on the bottom of the mouse again. But the great thing is it saves right to the mouse. You don't need software open or anything. Adjust your settings, your RGB, and it's saved. Delete the software if you want, and it's going to save to the mouse. I absolutely love in every product should have onboard storage. All right, so all in all, the Rocat Cone Pro and the Pro Air here. As I stated in the beginning, it's my new main. So obviously I recommend the mouse. Heck, it's listed as my main on my website. Box has been sitting back on a shelf. That's how much I love it. I absolutely love this mouse. Now the price is a little bit higher than we've seen even compared to some other Rocat mice, the uh, Pro Air comes in at 129. Now again, with it packing that 100 hour battery life, Bluetooth wireless right there, nice bigger product with a solid build, no creaking, no cranking, no nothing like that. I do think it's worth it. Again, packing those features in there, right? But it is higher priced, again, even other than some of the other Rocat mice we've seen. Now the wired one comes in at $79. And again, that's also higher. We kind of think of the uh, Burst Pro or something, I believe that was coming in at $59. So is it just because it's a bigger product? I'm not too sure, you know? But again, it's a great product, it really is. Even with the higher price, I think you're gonna like the product. I absolutely love it, you know what I mean? But again, I am a wireless fan, so I go towards the wireless for sure. And again, with it having a 100 hour battery life, the Bluetooth and wireless right there, again, it's a really awesome product. The innovative, the, the cool RGB up front, you know, as goofy and cosmetic as that is, it's just cool. It's an all around awesome quality, fun and cool product. And it gets a total recommendation for me. I mean, you gotta try this mouse out. It is awesome. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on a new Rocat Cone Pro and Pro Air right here. Again, if you want some other comparisons, go check out my other video that uh, I guess some said I went a little overboard in. It was an absolute fun video. Go check it out right there. Some other comparisons and talks on that as well. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.